Say you have a lot of stuff cluttering your home that you no longer need and a strong hankering to entertain. Well, you might have a garage sale slash party, but if you're Chris and Heather, you'll open a store slash occasional nightclub. Heather McAdams. Hi, how you doing? Good. And, and this would be Chris? Yes, I certainly am. Co-owners <laughs> of the Record Roundup. We're, we're in the business of moving uh, junk. We're trying to preserve this stuff, pass it on through the years, not, you know, throw yeah. it out. Basically, we were tripping over all this junk at our house. Have you ever found, like, some item that, like, didn't fit you, but you really wanted to buy it anyway? And well, you thought somebody else might like it even better. Yes, or, or you just were greedy and you wanted it, because mm -hmm. you're a shopaholic. So I you got a problem, Heather. Let's, let's talk about it. I know, I know. We've got records of all different kinds. This is the country section. Most of this stuff is before 1975. Uh-huh. We like the vinyl and we like the covers of the vinyl. Did you like the eight track as well? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of eight tracks. Where are they, honey? Colonel Sanders records. Uh, this is the Colonel's mandolin band. How many people know it? he had a mandolin band, but <laughs> sure enough, $14.99, still sealed, and you walk out of here. The happy organ. Oh, yeah. Who knew David McCallum cut an album? Definitely. And who cares, really? <laughs> Heather, you're a cartoonist of some note. Uh, you've done stuff with a reader quite a bit. And a lot of it is autobiographical. That's true. The T. Here's the anatomy of a cat. <laughs> Something's caught my eye. It's your autographed picture of Paul Lynn. The first impression I ever did as a kid was Paul, was Paul Lynn. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's me, Paul Lynn. I do a Paul Lynn. Do your Paul Lynn. Well, I fell and broke both my ankles. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. And I think you got the mouth for it, too. It was an original sideshow banner that Chris gave me for Valentine's Day. She's Zoma, Zoma depraved. Zoma's got fangs and and uh, hankering for a sailor, apparently. We sell, we sell a lot of odd games. We have some interesting games here. I don't know if you can... Swahili game. Swahili game, yeah. Uh, and voodoo, this is uh, one of those needles uh, you put into that voodoo doll and, and then it'll trigger that wild man. Is this Jim Carrey as Jesus? We can find out. We can read his autobiography. <laughs> the cool thing about having a store like this is that people bring in like, the weirdest things and just like half the time they just give them to us, you know? But then you also get the downside is people come in and try to sell you things like frozen steaks. But the internet thing is you got to watch out for the internet thing. The, whole the thing. eBay yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, your competition, right? We're trying to keep keep it alive a little bit. Human beings see each other face to face. Isn't this the one that goes, hey, Mickey? Yeah, hey, Mickey. Exactly. Uh, I got 450 on there. If you want it, I'll give it to you for 275 <laughs> I'll give you 275 to burn this record. <laughs> we do film and music shows, presentations here on certain Saturday nights. You so show what kind of film? We have, like, um, old previews for, like, more B stuff, more B movies. Meet the girls of the Big Dollhouse. They're young, they're beautiful, and they're killer. The time travelers who take you a century into the future when the Lumacord, the love machine, stimulates humans to a fuller, richer life of love. Then uh, ads for like commercials that, you know, used to be on TV. Me and my Winston. Me and my Winston. We got a real good thing. Let Maxima cream your face so the razor won't. Woo! I'm so cranky and out of sorts. Sluggish, headachey, sounds like irregularity. Yeah, generally fairly short things. People's attention spans aren't uh, really that long. What's the matter with Helen? <laughs> Something the matter? Places, you have to hunt around a little bit, you know? It's not for the person who demands to come in here for a Bachman Turner Overdrive and doesn't want to look, you know? Uh, These photographs are only a quarter. Right. We're willing to barter on this uh, cowboy candle. Oh, our friend uh, Randy made this uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken model. I really want this to be out of the store. It's somebody's gum. I mean, who's going to... Gum and eyeball art. That's a Seidel. But the best one's in the bathroom. Yeah, because it looks like she's really got to go. And you've put it right over the toilet. Is this you and Chris? Yes. This is Chris and I. Can't you tell by the gums? Some people think we look alike, or we're sister and brother. Your cartoons are mostly autobiographical. You've got a store with mostly your own stuff. And you're married a guy that looks like you. <laughs> Some people would say you're self-absorbed, Heather. Um... 
That's actually prison art, but it's, I do know it's made completely of uh, zippers. What pay tell is this? Tanya Harding on a mirror with a crowbar. People bring in, uh, you know, too many Barry Manilow records, and they ask, well, what kind of stuff do you want? So this would be it. This is an example. This is a violin player named Jimmy Gets Off, and the, and the record is called Jimmy Gets Off as he performs on the Lawrence Welk Show. Speech after the removal of the larynx. This is one of my favorites. This one's called Dixieland Salutes King Tut. Fornicating female freaks. What, what brought you to this album? Um, well, the cover. Gospel music by nine former drug addicts. Those cats look like the Osmonds, admit it. The hardened Osmonds. What is the Dr. Loomis method? It's actually a self-hypnosis record to make your breasts large. And obviously I haven't used it. <laughs> In public, she's a mild-mannered stewardess. In private, she's a mistress of the martial arts. Super chick. I edit them bumper to bumper. There's no academy, ten, eight, seven, six between them. And uh, they just, one after the other. I like to hear people, people scream and yell, howl with laughter. <laughs> but, but they cost them. They'll whip your audience into a frenzy, for God's sake. That's right. That's right. You have to hose them down at the end of the show? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if somebody wants to come down to Chris and Heather's record roundup, where do they go? They go to 2034 West Montrose. What number do they call? 773-271-5330. I don't suppose you got a website. No dice. <laughs>